The summit of the towering Lascar Stratovolcano in Chile rises to a height of more than 18,000 feet or 5,500 meters. There are a series of distinct summit craters which have altogether produced numerous recent volcanic eruptions, marking Lascar as the most active volcano in northern Chile since historical record-keeping began. On January 30th of 2023, a new distinct eruption of the volcano began as a presumably high silica body of magma erupted onto its recently active crater floor. By two days later, an approximately 88.1 meter or 289 foot long and 30 meter or 98 point foot high lava dome had been constructed, which had a mostly spherical shape, at least from a top-down view. Given its size, it suggests that 1.04 cubic meters of lava is being effused onto the crater floor each second, which will continue to increase the size and volume of the dome. While this may not seem all that exciting, its existence almost guarantees that a powerful explosive eruption will eventually occur. For context, the Lascar volcano had until January 30th of 2023 not produced a lava flow via a lava dome in approximately 30 years. Yet, it had erupted several times since 1993. The concern is that this lava dome will eventually become so large that it will act as a successful cap which will cause gas and pressure to build under it. This then might eventually become so highly pressurized that it explodes upwards, creating a powerful explosive eruption which destroys much of the dome. However, this process can take quite a lengthy period of time. For example, during the 2020-2021 eruption of the La Soufri volcano on the island of St. Vincent, the lava dome was destroyed a little more than three months after it began growing. Or, at the Lascar volcano, a lava dome was emplaced in late April of 1993 and would go on to be destroyed by a volcanic eruption on December 17th of 1993, approximately eight months later. While the current growing lava dome could theoretically remain without exploding in the current eruption, it is most likely to get destroyed in some eventual explosive eruption or eruptions, which is the reason for the 10 km or slightly more than 6 mile exclusion zone around Lascar's active crater. The 10 km exclusion zone also represents the maximum distance a pyroclastic flow traveled from the volcano's summit in 1993 per Sir Nejomin. While pyroclastic flows generated by the likely eventual destruction of the lava dome might not reach this distance away, the existing 10 km radius represents a generally good starting point for hazard modeling. With this being said, due to the topography of the surrounding landscape, any large overflow of the lava dome or generated pyroclastic flows which travel beyond the summit crater region are most likely to travel to the northwest than west, although they could also travel in other directions. Although it is almost impossible to predict the long-term future of a volcano's eruptive sequence, there is currently not a reason to suspect that any explosion of the lava dome would create a 1993-sized eruption, which is assigned a volcanic explosivity index rating of a 4. Of course, things could rapidly change, but in my opinion, it is most likely that the lava dome will continue to grow at Lascar for at a minimum several weeks to months, eventually becoming more than 100 meters thick and filling the bottom of the entire summit crater it lies within. Regardless, for people who live just outside of the 10 km exclusion zone, such as those in the city of Talabri, you should prepare for the possibility of eventual ashfall, which could be a dusting, or more, that would likely be associated with an explosive volcanic eruption from Lascar, even if it occurs several months from now. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank Mark Hesket for increasing their Patreon tier to this YouTube channel, Geology Hub, on this channel's Patreon page.